I got another letter for you, Eisen. <sighs> hey, are you okay? What does it say? I can't read it right now. One of you do it. Uh, okay. Dear brother, I got your letter. Not sure why it was so tattered. I'm glad that you were able to tell me how you really feel, even though it was beyond obvious by now. Your clear descriptions of the self-defense Moloch arts allowed me to master them quickly, despite your terrible grammar. As weird as it feels writing this to a pirate, good luck with your work, and I know how to keep a secret. So please keep writing me letters. My life doesn't revolve around them, but I do enjoy hearing from you. I can't see the oceans you sail from my perch here on the mountain, but I'm thinking of you and praying for your safety. And I want you to know I'm doing fine. <sighs> ah, looks like she's just as roundabout and stubborn as her brother. It must run in the family. There's more. P.S. Thanks for the Nor dolls. They're not really all that cute, but I guess I like them a little bit. But ever since I got that last one, I hear this voice at night telling me I should write you and be here for you when you need to vent. It's actually rather annoying, but since the doll is a gift from you, I'll make a special exception for it. That's all. Sounds like she's really got it together. You know, I don't think we ever asked you her name. Edna. That's a pretty name. Glad you think so. I'm the one who named her. I can feel him. You know me not somewhere in the sky. In the sky? Wait, look! Not worth my time. Who wants some next? And another one down. Stop fooling around. Thank you. 
I was just getting warmed up. Are we ready for this?
You're the ones who liberated us from Inominat's domain, right? I want to thank you for all that you've done. You really don't have to do that. I was just acting in my own interests. If any Molochim still get in my way, I won't hesitate to devour them. Hey, hold up! Most of us are under the influence of Inominat's power and have been robbed of our free will. The majority of Malakim are too afraid of malevolence to even go near humans. Before Inominat's interference, we were a peaceful people. That doesn't matter to me. We get what you're saying. But if we go easy on anybody, then we'll be the ones who get killed. If you truly want to protect your friends, you'll have to stop us by force. Mm. Wouldn't you agree that having free will means choosing the path you believe in? I suppose you're right. And that's why we too will work toward the future we desire. In order to achieve a perfect fusion of human and Moloch power, the Abbey gave Armadi a physical form. Specifically, their vessels embedded with a formula that can manipulate mana. They call these objects Divine Artifacts. Is that what that bow is? Yes, this is one of the Divine Artifacts. We've decided we want to pass on the knowledge behind the Divine Artifacts and Armatization to future generations. Why would you want to do that? Armatization is dangerous! We want to enable humans and Malakim to coexist. What? In its current form, Armatization is a one-sided process, allowing a human to exploit a Moloch's power. But imagine if humans and Malakim could armatize with mutual awareness and consent. It could provide just the edge our people need to battle the great forces who seek to harm our world. Like the Lord of Calamity, you mean? Well, do what you want. It's another potential for the future. Yes. But I have one warning for you. The divine artifact intended for Inominat is already complete. You know what that means, don't you? Artorius himself will use the Divine Artifact to armatize with the Nominat. For the good of the future, we'll pray for your success in battle, Lord of Calamity. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
things popped out. Yep, it's a whimsical. Not worth my time! What's this? Are we done already? Dragon Swordsman, so this is the demon Shigure couldn't beat. Gets <sighs> I... I won't lose here. Not to anyone but Shigure. Wait, she's a woman? It's okay. My brother died by my hand. <sighs> I see. Well done, Rokuro. Did... She just say... Yeah. You see, this dragon swordsman was a previous Shigure. And my mother. <gasps> I see. So, the previous Shigure was a woman. You knowingly killed your own mother? Why? That's just how it goes in my clan. My mother slew my grandfather to take the name Shigure, and my brother did the same to her. It's an endless cycle. But she should be dead. How did she become a demon? No, this was a Moloch. One that was halfway to becoming a dragon by the looks of it. So what then? She was reincarnated as a Moloch? But she still got to keep all her human memories somehow. It all seems a little too convenient, doesn't it? Maybe her feelings were just that strong. Or perhaps... Does it really matter? She fought like a real member of the Rangetsu clan would. And that sword belonged to my mother. Do you think Tabitha knew about this? If she did, she sure played us for damn fools. We're going to need to have a chat with her. Thank you. 